Remember 2016? Your friend circle was all clear on who they were voting for. Media was making fun of the orange guy. Trump was fucking up more than Mike Tyson reading a kindergarten book. The amount of Democratic votes outnumbered the Republican votes. So what the fuck happened? Let's talk about gerrymandering. This is Crystal Lake, and you're tuned into Black Facts. If you've ever tried to understand or explain how the American voting system works, you probably found yourself sounding like this. You um, you had you 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 could you do you you want you. A big reason for that is because the American voting system is way more difficult than it needs to be, and it's not as fair or democratic as you think. Let me introduce you to the term gerrymandering. Gerrymandering is the process of giving one political party more power than the other by redrawing the district lines. Basically, instead of the voter choosing the politician, the politician chooses the voter. Every 10 years, these district lines are redrawn, typically from the party that holds power in the government at that time. To boost the chances of their party being in power for the next 10 years, they rig the voting map. In gerrymandering, there are two methods to do this, either pack or crack. Packing is when a party takes their rival party and packs them into the fewest districts possible. The reason why is to have the opposing party represent fewer districts. Now cracking is the complete opposite. The map drawer spreads the rival voters to other districts. The key to this is making sure that the district has slightly more people of their own party in it. So when does a party decide to pack and when do they decide to crack? They pack when they don't have the advantage and want to dilute the voters. They crack when they're in a supportive neighborhood, leading them to spread their opponents to areas that support them. Usually it's already a strong area, but they want to make it stronger. How did that affect the last few elections and how does that affect your vote now? Well. Let's talk about the racist expert behind many of the gerrymandered maps that exist today, Thomas Hoffler. In 2010, Republicans were in power and they tried to redraw the district lines to keep them in power for the next 10 years. Thomas Hoffler is responsible for many of the gerrymandered maps over the last decade. And 2018 was a huge year for not only Hoffler, but all of America. That was the year when his most powerful map came to play. And it was the year he died. It was also the year when his daughter went through his old files and exposed the racist motives behind all of his maps. So in America, each state elects representatives to represent the party they want to vote for. These representatives each represent a district or the area where their voters are located. The amount of representatives grow depending on how big the population is. For example, big ass Texas would have more representatives than little tiny Rhode Island. This is done so it can reflect the political views across the state. You're probably thinking that the map looks something like this. But what if I told you that the map looks like this? This is the congressional map for North Carolina. This map of North Carolina was drawn by Hoffler. Let's take a deeper look. Do you see how ridiculous District 12 looks? You see that, right? Like, you see that? Yeah. Now look at the map of the percentage of black people in the state. You see where I'm going, right? Thomas took the black areas of North Carolina, Charlotte, Winston-Salem, and Greensboro, and packed them into this new long district. Hoffler did the same with the Senate and representative maps. Redistricting is like an election in reverse. Usually the voters get to pick the politicians. In redistricting, the politicians get to pick the voters. Which is why the state was able to pass bolder conservative laws for the next few years. North Carolina passed legislation that prohibits local governments from creating their own ordinances to protect the gay and transgender community. 
A new law is about to be implemented which will block public access to video footage that's filmed on police, body or dashboard cameras. With the case of Keith Lamont Scott, the African-American man that was killed at the hands of police officers here in the city of Charlotte, North Carolina, this law would apply to videos such as that one. North Carolina has the nation's fifth highest unemployment rate. They are trying a new way to get people back to work. They're cutting off unemployment benefits. After questions grew and anger grew, this map was brought to the attention of the federal courts in 2016 and 17. The federal courts told North Carolina Republicans, get this bum ass map from out my face. Are you dumb? Are you dead ass? You think I wasn't going to look at District 12, stupid? Are you dumb? This is racist, dummy. Okay, maybe not all of that was said, but they did deem it racist and unconstitutional. Ruling that the North Carolina Republicans in power created this to deliberately go against black people. So they had to redraw it again. But this time they weren't allowed to look at race. And who do you think the North Carolina Republicans chose to draw the new map? Hoffler. This time he based it off of what areas voted Democrat and which voted Republican. So instead of racial gerrymandering, this newer map was a partisan gerrymander. Hoffler began cracking Democratic districts and spreading them out to Republican districts. The new map was being drawn and the 2018 congressional elections were right around the corner. The Republicans were trying to stay hopeful, wishing that this new map would work. However, America had strong predictions of Democrats gaining the win. You hear warnings of, of, of a blue wave coming. We do believe there will be a blue wave. Is it a wave or a tsunami? How do you think it turned out? Well, for state representatives, Democrats had 51% of the votes, but they only won 46% of the seats. For state Senate, Democrats had half the vote, but they only won 42% of the seats. And for Congress, Democrats made up 48% of the vote, but only won 23% of the seats. Obviously, after this, Democrats were pissed. They were cheated and robbed of their vote. They took this map to the Supreme Court. By 2019, the court ruled that they can't fix it. It's out of their reach. I know, I know. Don't, don't even get me started, I know. Democrats then questioned, if Republicans keep drawing the line, then how would it ever be possible to get them out of office? So the Supreme Court handed this over to the state court to solve. By this time, Hoffler had died, and with the help of his daughter revealing his racist-ass files, the state court agreed to have the map changed for future elections. A new map was drawn. It isn't all the way fair, but it's better than previous maps. The sad thing is, it took years for this to happen. The sadder thing is, even though Thomas Hoffler is dead, his maps are still being used all across America. It sucks to realize that America's democratic system isn't really that democratic. But come on, you probably knew that already. I mean, that's probably why you clicked this video, right? I have one more important thing to say, but before I get there, Make sure to like this video if you learned something and subscribe because I have more videos coming that'll blow your mind. Also, be sure to check out my America Was Never Great store. I attached the shop link to my bio at cutbycrystal.com and it's your time to make a statement. If you haven't heard about my hat story that caused racist America to try to kill me over a hat, then don't worry, I linked it to this video. Just click the link right here. Now let's get back into it. Gerrymandering maps manipulated previous elections and it will continue to manipulate future ones if this doesn't come to an end. But don't let these awful facts stop you from voting. The world is finally waking up and if we can come together and really outnumber the opposing party, then that means the power is actually in our hands. Yeah, we're gonna have to work 10 times harder to get what we deserve, but if you're black, then you're probably doing that already. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.